real love, but if you're like me, I've definitely looked for it in the wrong places before. When I was in high school, I thought that the party scene or attention from guys would give me the satisfaction that I wanted, but I learned that that wasn't true at all, and I was actually just dissatisfied with that lifestyle. So someone told me about the virtue of chastity, and when I first heard about it, I thought that it was a list of no's. I thought that chastity, uh, or purity, meant that if I were gonna be hanging out with my boyfriend on the weekend, we'd have to have 16 pillows between he and I on the couch while we're watching a movie. Or that if I were gonna be chased, I would have to wear an ankle-length jumper to prom. But I learned that chastity, and saving all sexually intimate acts for marriage, is actually freeing, and actually leads to happiness when it comes to this whole area of our lives. St. Jose Maria Escriva is one of my very favorite saints, and he said that when you decide firmly to lead a clean life, chastity will not be a burden on you. It will be a crown of triumph. And I've really experienced this in my own life, and I know thousands of young people, guys and girls, who have experienced the same freedom too. Regardless of your past, no matter where you've been, what you've done, chastity is for every single one of us. It's greater than all the pleasures in the world, and you're worth waiting for.